Hi, so I'm Kelsey. I work with Carl Bradley and Kirsten Wise here. I know I'm working with Edwin right now, but I am a plant pathologist by trade generally. Um, so today I'm going to be talking about different sorts of seed treatments, you know, why you need them. And we have a whole bunch of demos here to hopefully kind of illustrate why you would need seed treatments and stuff like that. So we can just get started with, does anyone know why you would need a seed treatment? Like, are there, what reasons would you want to put a seed treatment on your wheat seed? Okay, disease. So when would you want, like, so weather-wise, when, is there times you probably want more to have a seed treatment as opposed to not having one? Mm -hmm. So obviously winter wheat here, it's probably going to be cool and wet like it is today, and it's just going to get cooler and wetter. So seed treatments really help out with some diseases that are better and more active in the cool and wet uh, weather. So we have actually some of that here today kind of to show you. Um, so the, there's different modes of action with fungicides. Same thing like uh, foliar fungicides. There are different kinds of modes of actions on seed treatments as well. So I did provide a handout in your folder. Unfortunately, it's from K-State. We are still working on to have the same sort of thing here for Kentucky that it's a little bit more Kentucky specific, but you can find uh, handouts like this in other universities as well. So it shows what chemical that you could be applying on your seed and also shows you the different uh, modes of action, different chemicals that are on, um, on your seed. So if you look over that list, you can kind of see that they use a lot of the same. I mean, they're kind of, they're a little bit different, but you can kind of see that there's a lot of overlap and there's a lot of the same sort of thing on each one, right? So the two big things here when you're looking at seed treatments is to know what is in your ground. So fusarium head blight, people are familiar with that kind of disease. So it's a foliar disease, right? Well, it's a head disease, but um, it also affects your seed. So one really important thing that you can do in the fall is make sure you're using clean seed. So you'll be able to see some of that up here, some clean seed versus what the scab, head scab does on your seed and why you would want to use, again, a seed treatment. And to use clean seed, the best way to not have disease is to use Clean seed, if you start with sick seed, you're just putting that disease right back into the ground. So that's not something you wanna do. But if you are gonna be using bin run seed and seed from the previous year, so this year wasn't as bad with head scab, but like the previous year was pretty cool, so we got a lot more. Um, so fusarium is a true fun, uh, fungi, right? So there's also, have you guys heard of pythium or phytophthora? So those are actually not of true fungi, they're oomycetes. So those are the ones that are a really big problem in cool and wet kind of weather, right? So those need a different mode of action than other fungi like uh, Fusarium or Rhizoctonia is another thing you guys are probably familiar with, right? So you would wanna use different modes of action. Not all chemicals are created equal as you should know. You, they, some things work better on other things and you have to know again what is in the ground in order to choose what you want to be doing. So besides that, um, we have some germination. When you guys, I will let you guys, everyone come up and take a look soon. But we have some germination tests. We do have clean seed versus scabby seed, and then also two different types of treatment. We have allegiance, which is just a methanoxum, which is the metal axles, which just controls oomycetes. So it's not gonna help with Fusarium or Rhizoctonia if you have that in the ground. But then we also have Dividend Extra, which has metal axle, which is the same thing with Mephanoxum, and um, Defaconazole, which is the Tebuconazole DMI treatment. So that's two different modes of action, and the Tebuconazoles do help against fungi. So there you go, you already have two different modes of action in one seed treatment versus the other one. So you're getting more protection from more diseases with one seed treatment as opposed to the other one. So it helps with, so seed treatments themselves, do you think they help with germination in seed? Do you think that's, like why, like do you think that's a thing that it does, it helps with germination directly in the seed? So it can help protect the seed once it's, growing, but if you're using, you know, bad seed, your seed is dead. You can't, a seed treatment's not going to bring back a seed, you know what I mean? So, um, so again, it goes back to uh, 
why you would. So when you're coming up here and looking at the germination test, you won't really see a difference between your scabby and your clean. You'll see a little bit of a difference here because again, there is scabby seed in the scabby, but there are healthy seeds in there as well. So the healthy ones will grow and do what they're supposed to do, but the dead ones are, again, dead. You can't do anything about that. So you'll be able to see that kind of thing up here. Um, with the next one over here, we're just showing off different kinds of, um, we just put the seed directly on petri dishes. So you can kind of see what's growing on the seed and how dirty seed is. Um, obviously, you're not, you guys don't go out and sterilize your seed and then you put it in the ground. It's not worth it anyways. The ground has a lot of gross things in it. So it's already there. But with this one, you'll be able to see the different, again, clean and scabby seeds with different kind of seed treatments. And we even actually have some surface sterilized seed here. And you'll be able to, so that one was, we will cleaned it and bleached it and kind of made sure it was clean before you put it on the plate. And you'll still be able to see here that um, there's different things growing on here. It's not even all the same thing on here, but you'll be able to kind of see what the difference is, is again. And then here again, it's just kind of showing you what um, scabby seed kind of looks like. It's not the worst. This is not actually that bad on here. And I've picked out some of the scabby seed over here, so it's not all in what's uh, on here as well. But you'll be able to kind of see what scabby seed looks like and see how it's, it doesn't have to look really dead in order for it to not do as well. So you can kind of see that there'll be like more wrinkles or just kind of just a little bit smaller or that kind of seed. And that's from the fusarium head blight that you get, you know, when you're growing the wheat later on. So over here, we have a hodgepodge of kind of things. Um, it's going to be, we have some plugs of different diseases. So we have an OOMIC, we have the Pythium over here. We also have the Fusarium over here, and we have Rhizoctonia over here with the different types of seed treatments. Some of it's kind of germinating, but you'll be able to kind of see, again, how dirty the seed is and um, see how much things are growing. These were all, plate, all of this was plated on the same day. So you can kind of see what, um, what kind of diseases are growing on the seed. And keep in mind when you're looking at this, not all of this is actually gonna hurt your seed. Some of it is just, you know, there's mold and stuff in the air. So it lands on your seed, it's gonna be on these plates. So it's not all just plant pathogens that are on these seeds, but it's stuff that is on your seed. So it's good to take a look and see what there is here. So that's different colors in this. And then we have some green, which could be aspergillus. Um, so you're saying that, that that one right there that has dividends, that this, this mm -hmm. is surface sterilized and then you have scabby and, then you, and you applied dividends. Yes, so like what it is, it's saying if it's scabby seed, so this one doesn't, this, the surface sterilized, which is this one and this one, they don't have any chemical on there. So it is just looking at, this is just looking at clean seed. You can just bleach them. Oh, that's a yeah, chemical. yeah, yeah. It's just bleach. I mean, we put them. It's like ten, seven, or ten percent bleach. You, I mean, you would never do this for, yeah. for. It is, but this is for like lab work and stuff. Because obviously, you can tell it's still super dirty even after we've cleaned them, right? So it's. Um, this has just been. It's basically been bleached essentially, and that's what these still turn out to be. But then we took clean seed and applied dividend to it and we took scabby seed and applied allegiance to it, and this has also no chemical on it at all. And this has nothing. This is just, I picked it out of a bag and we put them on a plate.